Hello, it's Sharon from Vivid Days. Thank you for choosing to spend some time with me. It is day 23 of my 28 day challenge and I am nearly there. But oh boy, is it getting hard to create art, edit art and get it up for you each day. This is 11.30 at night, uh, the evening before this comes live to you. Uh, well, not live, but gets to you because I'm at work when it goes live. So anyway, what have I done in the project so far? I originally applied my colours with a uh, baby cloth. Uh, that gives you a very soft coverage, but the cloth was actually not very great. Uh, it kept leaving residue on this really dodgy canvas that I've got left. I've only got six left, but it's not as good quality as what I had. And I didn't want to order any more because the whole point of this is using stock, not getting in stock. Anyway, I wanted a soft but nice subtle background. I went with purples and pinks. And I'm going to show you how I create my peacock tail feathers I'm only going to go with three and you're only going to see me paint one because obviously it's just a repetition of one that I've done before. So I always start with a dark blue in the middle, which I call my pack and then I come through with my lighter blue and then I start to add the highlights and that to me makes it look glassy. Now on my big peacock pieces that are done with oil paintings, normally I'll do my tail feathers multi different colours because who wants to paint a realistic peacock feather for at peacock should I say because to me they're magical they're mystical they are cleansing they're everything positive and so when I paint them I like my tail feathers to represent the old CNI for the mystical part of them and I like it just to be vibrant and colorful but for this piece for part of my challenge I wanted to just do a feature of three show you how I do them and uh, uh, yeah, show you the technique, but it made me chuckle at the end because of the composition of where I've put them. Um, I'm thinking now, does it look like uh, peacock, abstract peacock feathers that are mystical, or does it look like a pooch or a poodle? Well, I'll let you decide that. So when I look at it, <laughs> so I'm tempted if it's going to continue to bug me, I will come and add two uh, at a later date for myself and have a composition of five. However, it still makes me smile. So isn't that the point if it goes in my little wall of collage of the 28 days? Anyway, I'm rambling because it's very late at night. If you are new to my channel and you think my video is worth it, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up also if you are watching it and let me know uh, what you think to this. Comments are always welcome. That's what really helps me with my channel. It's what gives back to me. So if it is the first time that you've been watching um, this 28 day mini challenge, what that is about is me just trying to find a way to be more creative, connect more with my art and brushwork, look at possibilities of composition, color schemes, and hopefully by doing this mini challenge, and um, it's gonna flex something in me that I didn't know was there. But if you watch my previous videos, that will talk you through that a little bit more. But I will be so glad when I'm at the end of it so I can have a, an evening off. Evening off with my Neil, maybe watching a movie and annoying him. And uh, maybe start to work on other projects. Can't wait to show you some art journaling I'm doing and maybe some other projects. Now, I do have Neil at the side of me making funny uh little faces to me as I'm talking. And I've got the two fur babies, uh, Thor and Zeus, the cats are outside somewhere, and they're actually being quiet, so I'm able to actually talk to you. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that watched my Spanish flamenco yesterday. Much appreciated. Or should I say that's today, actually. Uh, so thank you, Audrey Will Wills. I hope I've said that right. Uh, glad that you can see movement in there. Thank you, Paula. I'm glad you can hear the swish in your dress and the vibrations of her stomping her feet. Uh, really appreciate it. Now, you set me a huge challenge of doing a horse in the center of a field, but I believe that this is a horse that stood, not galloping. I will try my hardest to do that. Now, I've only done one horse once before, and it scared the bejeebies out of me because anatomically, 
I don't know what they're really uh, like when I'm painting them. So I'll have to study that and see if I can fit that in. Uh, thank you, Andrea. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure I meant to say, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy this. And Miss Wonders, Blessed Creations. Oh, my sweet Jesus. I love this painting. I can just hear your voice saying that. Thank you so much for popping over from your your channel. Come and say hello. Much appreciated. Annette, Trisha and Sherry. Also, thank you for watching this. So I am going to now just put a little bit of music on. You come into the end of this uh, and hopefully you'll relax. Hopefully you'll come back and watch the final few days. And hopefully you enjoy this abstract peacock piece. Now do make me uh, aware, can you see the peacock all seeing eye? Or do you see the poodle like I see or, or some kind of weird animal? What's, what, which is, lol, lol, put your teeth in Sharon, which is cute, but yeah, brings a smile to my face. Anyway, I'm Sharon, I'm digressing. I need to get to sleep because I've got to get up in a few hours, repeat and do it all over again. Bye bye.